everybody, Katerina here. Welcome to my kitchen. Well, Ella, Mauro's little girl, is having a bake sale at school. And she asked me if I would be willing to make our candy cane wands. Absolutely. Super simple to prepare. Now let's get started. Candy cane wand cookies. This is what we will be preparing today. You're going to need your mixer for this with a paddle. Best results, all your ingredients have to be at room temperature. To begin, one cup of unsalted butter. Stir, allow the, the machine to break up the butter. One cup of icing sugar. And we're gonna give this a really good mix. Stop your machine and do a, a really good scrape down. We're going to do this quite a few times because we wanna make sure that everything is incorporated evenly. Beautifully mixed to two egg yolks. And I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla bean extract. Give it a good whipping. Add the eggs and vanilla to the butter mixture. Okay, another scrape down. We just, we really, really need to make sure that everything is incorporated evenly. The wet ingredients is ready. Now we can start with the dry. Your dry ingredients, two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. To the flour, we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. Give it a thorough mix. Ready to add the dry to the wet, a tablespoon at a time. This will be the final scrape down. This is my cookie dough. I'm going to weigh it. It's 28 ounces. Divide the dough in half. Make sure that each portion is 14 ounces. Yes, I'm there. To leave one portion white and uh, place it in plastic wrap. The portion, we're going to return it to the bowl in the mixer and we're going to add red food coloring by adding a few uh, drops at a time until you reach the color that you like. I would like it a little bit uh, darker than this. I'm just going to add a couple more drops. That should do it. Perfect. This is the red that I like. In the refrigerator for 20 minutes, half an hour. I started forming my candy cane wands. A little piece of the white dough, a little piece of the pink. They both are exactly eight ounces each. Simple tip so that your um, dough will not crack because it's a really soft dough is just roll it with your fingers all together. And if it does get too soft, like it did for me, I just placed it back in the refrigerator for 10 minutes. Do the same thing with the white cookie dough. They're both at five inches, a little slight pinch at the top, and then over, over, and over. And there's your candy cane wand to my baking dish. Perfect. This recipe made 16 candy cane wands. Because we want them to stay, uh, to keep their shape while baking, we're going to refrigerate this tray for half an hour. I have holiday sprinkles and uh, the egg white that was left over, I'm going to be using it to uh, wash the cookies. Now you don't have to do this step if you don't want to, but uh, I'm going to because Ella asked me to. I'm coat the um, candy canes first. I'm going to do three at a time because you don't want the egg white to dry on the cookies. Look how pretty that looks. The cookies are chilling. It would be a really good time to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. In my preheated oven for 11 to 12 minutes. Once you see them golden brown around the edges, you know they're ready. Oh, if you could only smell my kitchen. My wonderful candy cane wands have baked off beautifully. I'm going to allow them to cool for at least 15 to 20 minutes and then I'm going to taste one for you. 
I just wanted to show you that earlier today I prepared them with green and white and yesterday I prepared them with pink and white. Mm. Tastes like Christmas. Delicious. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. And it's Katerina from My Home to Yours. To wish you all a happy Winterfest. Merry Christmas to you all. And don't forget to hit your like button. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel and share my recipes. Oh, so good. Mm.